the Yankees' fourth-ranked prospect, continuing his rise through the minors against the Columbus Clippers. He gave up a run in the first, gave up a two-run homer in the third, but did show some dominant six strikeouts in five innings, just one walk, 85 pitches, six hits. So, Jack, overall, they're looking. This guy's been fast-tracked. He's 20 years old. Right, and you look at the stuff, and you have to be impressed with it. We talked in the pregame about innings and what kind of innings limits he might have this year. He threw five tonight. I think if he becomes a factor for the Yankees in 2019, Bob, it is out of the bullpen. But you watch the swings of those hitters right there, Buck, and th this is an appealing guy. This would be another appealing arm for the Yankees to have potentially coming out of their bullpen. Yeah, you look at highlights. You see a guy with those type of numbers. I can't wait to see the, the, the film of him and go, okay, where are the strikeouts coming from? It's the breaking ball. It's the late life fastball. It's the easy velocity. And... Uh, you know, if you really want to know what they're planning on doing with him, usually you look at the inning increment jumps from year to year to year. And, of course, they've got him right on schedule to have the right increment jump. So the idea of seeing this guy pitch in September and October, I, I don't quite see it. And like you said earlier, Jack, maybe out of the bullpen, maybe. But I think we're, you know, moving a little quick. Sometime years ago, they used to move guys up to AAA to make them more attractive in a trade. But yeah. I can't imagine trading this kind of a kid. Yeah, that's a tough sell. He's been so good at single, double, and for at least one start, triple A. I just wonder, when you look at a player like this, do you like guys like this? And I know he's their fourth-ranked prospect, but body size, he doesn't... M.O. out to be like, the, you know, the, the normal guys we see, these monsters but, that are yeah. six and a half feet tall. But there are exceptions to every rule. You can't just say, okay, this is the way it's going to be for, forever. He might, there was a guy named Pedro Martinez who was about that size. He reminds me a lot of Octavio Dotel, the body language. And, you know, a lot of times in scouting reports, they go, who is he? Give me a player comparison. But he, uh, uh, the effort, you look at how little effort there is in the, in the velocity. It's easy velocity. I'm not going to drop some names that I get in trouble for comparisons yet. That, uh, it just dropped Pedro no, Martinez. No, no, no. It's just, I'm talking about the body. Only body. Only body. Let's don't go there. There's a guy that you're going to go talk to uh, about in Cooperstown for too long, that that easy velocity. But this this kid, uh, it's fun to watch. And uh, they, what I want to know is where are the three guys they got ranked ahead of them? I think those Jeez. are those I think mid season were those yeah. mid season reports and now you, or, right. or pre season right. reports and now you added what he's done. But that guy you're talking about in Cooperstown, our viewers are smart enough to know who you're talking I about. Know. You're I talking know. about I the know. easy, repeatable delivery of Mariano Rivera. But five ten, one sixty five, so Buck is right. Pedro Martinez probably pitched at about one seventy five. So we have to let Davy Garcia <coughs> make the climb, but you can see why the Yankees are so excited about him. Youngest pitcher, youngest player right now in AAA.